Hi, I'm Victor and I'm going to show you a really cool workflow for some of you that are um, on the side of um, BIM managing, probably. You're going to find this useful, I think. So what is it? We're going to load a bunch of uh, families in a bunch of documents. So I have uh, my setup here, which are like a folder with five documents that are empty right now. They are just the same empty, no template document. This is the document if you if you start from scratch in Revit. So it doesn't uh, it doesn't have any furniture families. You know it has all the system default uh, families of course, but it doesn't have any furniture here. So we're going to load uh, all these furniture fam families into all of these files with Dynamo automatically. And something that's really important for this to work is when you select your files, go to properties. This read only checkbox has to be unchecked. If it is checked, it's not going to work, it's going to produce an error. And same is valid for these products here read only has to be unchecked so I'm going to open a new file actually because uh, we're just using uh, Revit as a um, platform to run uh, Dynamo but it is running in the background it's, it's really cool so um, I'm going to try to run this from the Dynamo player first and then I'm going to show you the script and I'm going to put this script uh, like on my. If you subscribe for my website, like go on the link below, revitexperiments.com. Uh, upon subscribing, you're going to receive it for free. And this is uh, the script load multiple families into multiple projects. So I click on this icon here, which is for the settings. And I have uh, to select. Uh, the documents folder and the families folder. So I select uh, the documents folder, then I select the families uh, folder, and I click on run script. And I hope for the best here. We can see that something is running in the background. And we wait a little bit. Still waiting. And it's done. Run completed. No errors. So now if I open the documents file, you're going to see that uh, we have one backup of each document. That means that the document was opened and then closed. And I don't need uh, this anymore. No. But if I open one of those documents now, you see actually that the file, si the file size is different because we have loaded the families. And here now, now we have the furniture and we have all these furniture families actually loaded in the file. It's really cool. So... Let's close this. I don't need it. And I'm going to delete this files. Shift and delete for permanent deletion. Deletion. Is, is this a word? I'm not sure. And I can uh, I can get the empty documents from here again. Not in the families, in the documents folder. And now I'm going to show you the script. I'm not going to use a template. I'm using this just to run the script. So Dynamo.
It is using two notes from uh, the great package. Oops, this is another thing. I'm actually showing this in another video. I'm not sure which one I'm going to upload first, so you can check my other videos. And you can also like, dislike, or subscribe, whatever, um, whatever you think is uh, the right thing to do. So, not this again. Load multiple families into multiple products. These two notes are great notes from uh, the package done edu. And what they do is we have an input of a um, document path, actually a folder path. It is when you type in path. What do you have here? Folder path. Or directory path, probably. Yes, it's this note. It's just renamed to documents folder. And download done edu. It's a great package. I I love it. Actually, my little Python is uh, based on one of the notes from Dan Edu, which is uh, loading loading families into the current project. But I expanded it a little bit so it loads uh, multiple families into multiple projects if you need this. It's also, I wouldn't say this is an everyday Monday task, but I can imagine that uh, in some cases you would need this. But uh, you're not uh, forced to use this too. You can use like uh, any other list of strings because this is basically a string with the path. So you can select it. You can make your own way of selection for the documents and the families. And this is the Python script. So the documents path is input one, and in input zero it's the families path. No, nothing so special, but let's try it again from here. Run. Run, forest, run. And it's done. The output of uh, the Python script is just these two lists combined. And then you can see we have our projects updated with the loaded furniture families. So that's it. And I hope you like it, I hope you find it useful, you can download it, you can um, you can go to revitexperiments.com and subscribe and then you're going to receive this by mail. Uh, thank you for watching, bye bye.